So you wrote this fabulous piece about humans descended from Pluto like 8 million light years ago. It was phenomenal. But now you can't find it. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to find a way to search the contents. That's right. The contents of text files. So that we can find a file that we wrote a long time ago. But we don't know the title of it. Okay, so what we're going to do. First, while we're in the folder, we're going to make sure the system is set up to search the contents of files. And we can do that at the top of the folder. We're going to click the View tab. And then once we're in the View tab, we're going to go over, <laughs> we're going to go over and click the Options button. And then once we click the Options button, the Folder Options menu box is going to pop up. And we're going to click the Search tab from within the Folder Options pop up. Down in When Searching Non-Index Locations, we're going to select Always Search File names and contents. This might take several minutes. And that's going to allow us to search the contents, not just the file name, but the actual contents of each of the text files. So we're going to try to search this folder full of files for a particular word. Let's say the word the. So we type the word the, and of course nothing comes up. You know why? Because none of these files have a file extension because Notepad++ by default doesn't save it with a file extension. So Windows is not going to search for it without the file extension. So let's do that real quick. Remember we did this the other day where we, we changed the file extension for a whole group of files in a particular folder. And we'll link that video in the top right of this video if you want to check that out. But let's do that command real quick. So we're going to change the directory. And this is on a different drive. So we're going to type CD and then forward slash a capital D and then we can get the folder path and paste that in there and press enter and now we're working within this drive so we're going to do rename asterisk dot nothing because there's no extension on any of these files that we want to rename and then we're going to do asterisk dot txt and that's going to rename all of those files with the txt extension now we can search those files for the word the and there we go so we found another use for that renaming command so that we can rename the text files because now we can search within the contents of those files you see we just searched the word the and normally how legacy searches would perform would be it would search the title of those files well we don't have any titles on any of these files so now we can search the contents of those files so we'll search for our fabulous Pluto article that we wrote. Oh, there it is. Pluto is... Oh. So we never finished it. 